I'm taking a look today at this HDMI over Ethernet extender from P-Way. This is model number PW-HT202P, and there will be an Amazon link in the description. P-Way did send me this product to review for free, but that will in no way influence my opinion of this device. This is going to be a fair and honest review. So first off, why would you even want something like this? The benefit of running Ethernet cable in comparison to HDMI is that Ethernet cable is much easier to run than HDMI cable, especially if you're going to run the cable behind wall paneling. I know from personal experience that Ethernet cable is much easier to pull than HDMI cable. Also, Ethernet cable is generally going to be a lot cheaper overall as well. This particular unit will only display 1080p, but I can see that in an instance where you're going to be setting up a device port for a conference room for displays, or for a church, or something like that, this should be fine. P-Way does offer a couple of other versions of this device. One can do 4K 30 frames per second, and the other can do 4K 60, but I can't speak for those models, only this one. Alright, so inside the box we get paperwork. Nope. And here's the receiving unit. It's well constructed and made of a pretty tough aluminum housing. Which is the same for the sending unit. Under this white plastic padding, we have the power adapter. The cable for the adapter appears to be about 5 feet long. For a simple setup overview, it goes like this. The power adapter plugs into the sending unit to supply power. The HDMI source that you want to send also plugs into this unit. From there, we run an Ethernet cable from the port marked CAT6 on the sending unit. I'm just using this short cable here for demonstration purposes. I'll use a longer cable later. Plug the other end of the Ethernet cable into the CAT6 port on the receiving unit. And for clarification's sake, it doesn't have to be specifically CAT6 cable. I'm using CAT5 Ethernet in all of my testing here. Then you're going to run an HDMI cable from the receiving unit to your TV, monitor, projector, or whatever type of display you're using. For this test, so we can take a look at the video quality, I will be using an HDMI capture card for my display. This model is able to transmit a signal over up to 165 feet of Ethernet cable. Unfortunately, I don't have that much cable available. I'm going to just have to make a cable out of what I have, which is about 50 feet long. On a final note here, if your Ethernet cable is over 30 meters long, you'll need to bear in mind that you're going to have to toggle this switch on the receiving unit over to the 50 meter setting. With my cable being only 50 feet long, I'm going to toggle over to the 30 meter setting. So I have all of my components laid out for the test, and I'll go over this setup that I'm using here. I have an Amazon Fire Stick feeding into the HDMI port of the sending unit. From there, it's feeding into my 50 feet of Ethernet cable via its Ethernet output port, which in turn feeds into the Ethernet input port of the receiving unit. And from there, I'm using an HDMI cable to feed into my capture card. Just keep in mind that in most normal setups, instead of a capture card, you would be feeding this HDMI cable into an HDMI port on a display like a TV or a projector. But with all of that being said, let's take a look at the video quality. Here's the Amazon Fire Stick, and I'm looking at Amazon Prime Video Playback. It looks pretty good to me. It does indeed carry sound, but I do want to reiterate that this particular HDMI extender is only capable of 1080p. No, 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 not again! Hey, hold on! Why? Because I'm going to do this. Personally, I'm not really much of a gamer, but here's some captured footage from the Xbox 360. Welcome to Wellspring, stranger. Best little town this side of what passes for civilization and a few good safe miles from any authority outpost. And to verify the frame rate, I looked at one of the 60 frame per second captures and no frames were dropped. If you're interested in picking up one of these HDMI extenders for yourself, there will be a link in the description. 
Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.